today is a very special day. It's Halloween. And I thought, what a better way to celebrate Halloween than to show you what I got in the mail today. This is a very special collection from Vampire Cosmetics. And I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and take this bubble wrap off. And as you can see, it is the Vampire Cosmetics X Silent Hill Collection. And I don't know if you know, but I'm a huge, huge, huge Silent Hill fan. I normally would have done like an unboxing where I took this out of the box and you know, all that, but Today, I just, I had to see it before uh, showing you guys, so I needed to make sure that it wasn't damaged. I haven't taken anything out of the actual packaging yet. But we're gonna do that together. And I'm going to, I believe it comes with three lipsticks and two palettes. Now, they sold the Robbie the Rabbit palette separately. I haven't got that yet, but I'm getting it soon. So I have all of the makeup for the whole collection. I don't see why they couldn't have just added it to this, but I guess, you know, for some reason, it was separate, so... The bubble wrap popped, oh no. set it off to the side. So it's got this nice shiny plastic coating where you can see my ring light and my above headlight. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the plastic. that it has this really cool art of pyramid head. I have a previous collection from them, the, uh, I think it's Emily the Strange, and I have a video showing it as well. So we've taken off And now you can see this art a little bit better. I just knocked my ring light. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I probably am not going to edit that out. <laughs> So here we can open it up and it comes in this really nice box. So we've got more Pyramid Head art and this is an official collaboration with uh, Konami. We have three lipsticks so I'm going to try to pop those out. This is our first one 
And as you can see, it's got the bubble head nurse and another one of the monsters here. This is the color alone. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that for you. So, this is the color alone, and I'm gonna do it on the back of my arm here. Boop. It's this nice, kind of dirty, mannequin brown color, as you can see here. It goes on really smooth, it's very opaque, surprisingly uh, pigmented. I have another lip product from them that's pretty good as well. It's a Silent Hill. I'm going to set that over here. Our next color we have is called Flesh. And of course we've got a little monster here and our bubblehead nurse again. watch this as well. This is a nice, let's see here, peachy color. Very good neutral. Nice like orangish peach. And as you can see, next to Alone, it's quite a different color. And I'm going to set that right here next to this one. And our last lipstick. Our last lipstick has pyramid head on both sides and it says Silent Hill and this is the color Rust. Go ahead and crack that open. I have these nails on and it is so hard to like do normal things with them. I don't know if anyone else has that issue. So I'm going to put that right here. Oh, this is probably my favorite color. I'll probably wear this one a lot. It's this nice reddish, this nice reddish rusty color. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. Take off these and we're going to get in to the pyramid head palette next and I'm gonna swatch that for you guys. So it says Silent Hill here and it says there was a hole here. It's gone now. So I've went ahead and took it off the plastic. It says here, he who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. So I'm going to go ahead, this is my first impression, cracking this open and taking a look at it. Oh, I'm so excited. And of course, 
there is a mirror. And it is another magnetic palette, like um, the, the Emily the Strange collection, and it says, I can't tell you to remember me, but I can't bear for you to forget me. And it says, in my restless dreams, I see that down, Silent Hill. And it's got Pyramid Head. I'm trying to like show you this in such a way to where I'm not like flashing you my scary makeup list self right now. <laughs> I had a really bad allergic reaction happen to an eyeliner brand and my entire eye was swollen shut yesterday. So it sucks because I can't wear makeup for Halloween. We got this nice plastic protector. And now for the main event, the eyeshadows. We got our nice bubble head nurse here. I'm gonna swatch a few of these. Um, the fun colors. Because <laughs> everybody knows what a black eyeshadow looks like, right? We're gonna start with nightmares. I'm gonna put that right here. It's this nice, subtle, dusty rose. And I love me a good red eyeshadow. <laughs> the next one I'm gonna show you is called Abyss. It's a nice, pretty blue color. Oh, that's pigmented. Whoa. That's crazy. I don't have a blue eyeshadow that is that pigmented. That's nuts. <laughs> and then I really am curious about Sins, this like mauve color. These go on so smooth. Oh, it's more like a gray, like a steel, like brown gray. I'm going to swatch, I think four shadows from each of these. Also, I'm sorry for the traffic. It's my annual apology for traffic. I live by a busy road if you're new here. <laughs> I'm gonna show you dreams. I'm gonna show you dreams next. It's this nice dusty purple color. It has a bit of like a metallic shimmer to it. I don't wanna like dig in, cause like some people who swatch like dig their finger in. But there's that compared to Sins, it's this, I feel like these colors would look really good together in a look. But it's like a nice bruise violet color, and I really like that. And then, oh, we'll compare Persecuted. I'll do that one with my thumb here. Oh, that's very red. And some, oh, actually more of an orange on my skin compared to, um, uh, nightmares. And that is what I'm going to show you from this palette. Now I'm going to <laughs> take this off. The pigment's so good, it's still, like from the lipsticks, it kind of stained my arm here. <laughs> we'll be right back. So, of course, all those were swatched without a primer or any kind of foundation. I'm just very, very, very pale. <laughs> These are very good sized, very well made pans. I went ahead and placed that back on there as I like to keep my protection for all of my eyeshadows. I had um, one of my, oh god, Juvia's Place palettes, the black eyeshadow in it, shattered. And that was one of the few palettes I didn't keep the eyeshadow protector on and it got everywhere all over i had to clean my entire collection it was very ugh, just a hot mess let's put it that way so we've seen the three lipsticks and we've seen the pyramid head palette now we have the bubble head nurse palette so i'm gonna go ahead and pull that out take the plastic off and I will show that to you next. So here's our bubblehead nurse palette and can we just shout them out for the art on this? They put a lot of work into this collaboration. 
every detail in the packaging is just so thought out and well done and I'm a huge video game nerd so seeing one of my favorite childhood games done right is just chef's kiss. <laughs> So we're gonna crack this open now. And this is a more like nude, neutral palette. And the mirror says, for me, it's always like this. And it's got the nurse. And you can kind of see some of my filming set up here. And then we've got our little palette protector here. Get into since there's only these are mostly nude colors we've got save me wounds key scarred mary and james and forever i love that those are all together <laughs> so here we have my arm nice and bare and i'm gonna start with save me we're gonna put that right there that's a good red. It's more like a nice rusty brown red color. More darker than the red from... It's a lot darker than the red from the Pyramid Head palette, but it's more of like a rusty blood red. This reminds me of like congealed dried blood. I'm sorry if there's a lot of cuts in this video, I'm trying my best to like edit out as much traffic sounds as I can. And as you see here we got James facing off against Pyramid Head. The next color I'm going to show you is Wounds, and it's like a glittery pink color. And oh that's pigmented, what? Look at that. It's this nice sparkly, shiny as you can see, pearlescent bubblegum pink. And the light catches it in such a way to where it's very, as you can kind of see that shimmer. Now, I'm going to show you Key. And it's like, um, not quite a pink, but not quite a gold. And I know it doesn't look pinkish, but it has very peachy, like, undertones that I can see in the pan, but it's more of like a pinkish, orangish kind of skin color. It reminds me of like a peach, and it's called Key, and I think that's really cool. Like a shiny gold peach key. <laughs> Next one I'm going to show is, I think, Mary, because it's very pearlescent and it almost looks like a bone color, but not quite. And I'm really curious how, like, the, uh, see, it's very, on my skin, it's more like a highlighter. You can barely see it. That's why I put it next to this darker color. And then I'm going to put forever next to it so you can see the comparison forever is this nice bronze gold which is always one of my favorites so in comparison you can kind of see it's more of like a highlighter color something that would go really good on the inner corners of your eyes and then these two there's three matte shades and four like glitter shades um we're gonna do scar and then James is just a white shade. I'm gonna put Scarred right here, which you can barely see. I'm a very fair, fair-skinned person. Also another really good inner corner color, very peachy. But that concludes our swatches that I'm going to do for this collection. I have really enjoyed showing this to you all. I waited, I pre-ordered this, I think, oh 
oh goodness, about two months ago. But yeah, I pre-ordered this about two months ago and it showed up the day before Halloween and I actually wasn't expecting this to show up um, at all this month. <laughs> they said it was gonna be shipping, shipping sometime around like um, October, but I thought they meant like late October, not like earlier. And I saw this was coming out, I think I saw the initial ad for it about six-ish months ago. It was like rumored that they were going to make a collaboration and I was like, oh, I gotta get that. <laughs> I'm a huge makeup collector and I didn't put this in the beginning of the video, but I'm gonna put it now. This all came out of my pocket. It's not sponsored. It's not a paid collaboration. I'm just a collector and a huge nerd, so I really hope that you guys enjoy this collection and taking a look at some of the colors with me. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in its little house. Includes our first impressions and kind of swatch and review of the Vampire Cosmetics X Silent Hill collection. I hope you all have a blessed and safe Halloween. I hope you get lots of candy and as always, I love you all with all of my person and sweet dreams.